decided to give you a demonstration because there's a little bit more involved to hooking this up than you might think. So I basically put a rubber band through the hole up here, loop it around. I think that's called a fisherman's knot or something like that. Bosun's knot, I'm not really sure. Anyway, go up to the top with it and hook it on up there. Now that's going to provide my tension. Here's a piece of nichrome that I just twisted the end on like I said to you. Make a loop and the other end straight. Would it be better holding it down here? It's just a loop. Nothing to it. You put the one end of the loop on here and then I need to take the needle nose pliers. Will you turn that on for me, hon? Basically, these pliers are horrible, but you'll see as soon as I touch it, the wire starts getting hot. So, at that point, you can tell if you're too short because the whole wire is going to glow, and then under tension it'll probably snap. So, um, basically what you want to do, you want to wait a second until it cools down, and then you can put a small... Turn off. No, it's okay. I just didn't know how hot it was. It doesn't stay hot very long. I'm going to put a small bend in the bottom here, so that I can hook it underneath. These needle nose pliers are awful. I should go get my other ones. And then you can just start pulling the wire ever so slightly until you see it just start to get red. You know, if you go a little bit too much, then obviously have good needle nose pliers. Yeah, my needle nose pliers are screwing me up here. But with good needle nose, I'm sure you get the picture. You pull more of the of the wire through and that allows you to adjust the length to whatever you need. Pause it there one sec. Was it paused or did you start a whole new video? Okay, so I got a better pair of needle nose pliers here. Not that these are much better. But you can see that I'm right on the edge of it turning orange. Okay, for now we'll leave it at that. It's right on the edge of turning orange and it has just a little bit of tension on it. So that's pretty much how you can self-regulate how long your wire is without going into a lot of details on, you know, figuring out the resistance and how many watts you're putting through it. You just put the wire on, check if it starts turning orange. If it goes really orange, go a little longer. If it doesn't turn orange, then shorten it up at any rate. The cool part about this hot wire cutter is you can adjust it with to any height that you want. All you need is enough power to be able to handle the length of wire that you're using, enough voltage. And you could adjust it to be a foot long if you wanted. So, uh, the ultimate hot wire foam cutter. It really turned out to be the most simple idea, and there's not much to it. So, uh, there you have it.